Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. So guys, today we're going to be talking about what are the best VPNs that have split tunneling. If you're here, you probably know what split tunneling is. But if you don't, uh, basically what split tunneling is, is it's a really cool feature that some VPNs offer that basically allows you to use VPNs for some things and not other things. Let's say you're downloading a torrent file, but you don't want to affect your game latency. Let's say you want to have your VPN while you're browsing the internet, but maybe not when you're playing a specific game or something like that. It's kind of a way to segregate your traffic, which is pretty cool. And honestly, any VPN that doesn't offer this feature is going to be, there's going to be a huge downside. Now, there have been some instances where VPNs haven't set this up properly. Um, for example, Split um, um, ExpressVPN was one of those VPNs that didn't really set it up properly. And it, it was kind of leaking DNS requests um, for uh, a while. Um, but they did kind of fix that eventually. As you can see here in this article, after to express VPN acts swiftly to protect customers. So it seemed like their split tunneling was leaking DNS requests, but they finally fixed it, which is good. But I don't really necessarily recommend express VPN for that reason, just because of have issues like that in the past, having more features overall is a benefit when choosing a VPN provider. So let's go ahead and take a look at my top two options right now. Um, those options are going to be Nord and Surfshark. Both these VPNs offer split tunneling they have for a long time. Pretty much all you do is go into the settings, go to split tunneling, and it's as easy as that. You can turn it on or off, and you can specifically select it for different applications or disable it. So you can kind of have it on or off. So you can have it um, disabled for certain things, like let's say you don't want it to be activated for gaming, um, or you specifically only want it to be available for you know your browser so it kind of depends on which one you want to do um, in that sets and you can add apps right here so this is definitely a very good application to set it up with VPNs if you're interested um, I'll be putting a link for this in the description down below you should be able to get around three months and a discount with Nord if you decide to go with them so there you go definitely a solid option if you're considering a VPN that allows split tunneling Next up, we have something like Surfshark VPN. Now, Surfshark VPN is very similar to NordVPN. Application is a little bit different of a feel, but if you go into the settings here, go to VPN settings, um, you can kind of look around, um, and split tunneling should be around here somewhere. Um, here it is. It's called Bypasser. Now, Surfshark calls it a bypasser. So you can even do this with specific websites with Surfshark, which is a cool little feature. So there you go. Um, and you could do the same thing here. So just like with Nord, um, Nord allows you to kind of pick um, if you want to um, do disable it for certain apps or enable it for other ones. And Surfshark has the exact same thing here. It's just kind of named Bypasser, their own little kind of way to describe it. So this is definitely another good one. With Surfshark, you can also get a good deal around four months extra free with my link in the description down below. So check that out um, if you're interested in that one. I would recommend these two ones um, for split tunneling if you guys are interested in split tunneling with a VPN provider. Like I said, it can be very useful having a VPN all the time on for torrent for example but not affecting your gaming speeds or if you want to keep it on all the time for browsing but not affecting your gaming or some other other applications out there my specific use case for this would be affecting my Elgato lights so I can have my VPN on and disable it for my Elgato lights so therefore it will not kind of have this issue um, with VPNs kind of it can miss up those kind of things so that's pretty cool guys let me know down in the comments down below if you like these ones and I'll see you again in the next video very soon I have no idea what happened to my OBS, but this is pretty fucking cool looking.